what's up guys welcome back to the millennial man cave it's time to get back on the ice it's been a while it's been a long while it's been a long time long long while we're finally getting back i feel like it's funny because we were talking about on the side how we're like do you remember who's on our team <laughs> we're gonna get into it the best way possible hopping into the game surprise, surprise. surprise. All right, so Chef Tom skipped the game that we were about to play. So, Tampa Bay it is. I think from last time. But we did win 3-1. But we will take on Tampa Bay, the team that uh, the Leafs should have been playing. Fair enough. Good. In the playoffs. There you go. Good, good segue. Good, good segue. Good segue. Thanks for coming my ass. All right, let's get into some action here. So, Matthews <laughs> gets another point. Good stuff, kid. Good stuff. 50 points for the seven games. Um, we haven't played in a while. So... Let's try to remember these controls. Should, or let's... I, I, I clicked play game. Just not... No, I advanced. Oh, I advanced? Why. Okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, haven't played in a while. It's going to be the first time for us jumping back to some NHL action. But it's still playoff hockey time, which means lots to talk about. Tons, considering we missed all the, like, who's making the run, like, who's making the playoffs. The entire, basically, end first of round. the season and first round picks. Yep, 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 yep. So where do we start? I think for me personally, like, we have to just get right into that Leaf series. Let's just bite it off. I think we have to get into the whole first round series. Okay, so here's our first line. Matthews, Marner, and Forsberg. Yes, that's right. I do remember. I see Gino, okay. Pavelski, and Steen on their side. So, they obviously have some some size and some skill on their first line. Funny that Steen's there, though. I don't take him much for a first liner. But, you know, what do I know? Oh, oh. There we go. I saw Morrissey. Oh, coming in, coming in. Over to Mitchie. Oh! Mrazic in that. Jeez. Just ran him. Got traded off to Philly. Didn't even end up the season he did in Detroit. Nothing in Philly. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. That guy is. He was supposed to be a stud, man, and his career just ended up going downhill. Like he Hard. couldn't. He couldn't stick. And the worst part was, is Philly already had problems with Elliott. Yep. And I think they called up like six goalies this year, through and through, because all the injuries and whatnot. And if I do remember correctly, we are running Thatcher Demko. Yes, we are. Now here comes the Austin Matthews. Oh, <sighs> trying to shoot for the rebound. Hoping you'd get something on that side. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I do like that we have Willie on this line. I forgot we that was a big... Or, uh, Willie. Uh, Marner. Oh, it's a big acquisition for us. That was huge. Because, you know, he was pretty much the only Leaf to show up. That was good. Uh Bush Helm. Yeah, and Connor Brown. Connor Brown. Okay. Some Leafs love here. Totally forgot that we uh, pulled up some of these boys. Loving some of that. We are reintroducing ourselves to our team. Yes, that's how long it's been, man. And, oh. Oh. Really? Really? All right. I see some things never change. Real deal, James Neal. So, which brings us into Vegas. Which brings us to the Vegas series. That's a swept. If we don't start, if we don't start knocking these out, we're never going to finish. Swept LA, which baffles me. I know, oh, I know they are a good team. I get it. Phenomenal team. But a sweep of LA, a cup side of who did not look good. Did not look good at all last season. He was just a like, like I, cough up city. I mean, I, I I think you could chalk up some of that to injuries. Apparently, they said like you know he battled injuries all year, and really just wanted to get back into the lineup, you know, help his team out. Oh, oh God, big save! And uh, I think that probably contributes to some of his issues. But he did not look as comfortable as he did in the first year. And I mean, usually guys have an adjustment period the first season, and then are ready to go the rest of the year. Not play well their first season. And then I guess they got figured out, like a pitching prospect or something in baseball. Nice. Like, it just kind of seems like that's how it all worked out. I don't know. I was very, very disappointed. And, you know, he just got a new contract. I don't know. Like, long term, seven years, six years. It uh, was not good. So, Vegas sweeps LA. Yep. Then we have the Boston Toronto series, which let's just. The only series to go seven games. Yep. Good series at that, especially when, you know, the Leafs actually decide to start playing hockey. Uh, talking about their issues. Uh, the what in God's was name was that? Uh, you know, they couldn't get pucks out of the zone. They were, like, just sloppy defensively all around. I mean, you can't leave your goalie to face 40 shots a game, man. And expect to come away consistently like, with the win. Like, it's just not going to work. Like, that almost brings me back to the time where they were with Ron Reimer. Wilson and Randy Carlop. Let's try and outscore our problems. Well, when your first line is getting absolutely destroyed, like, I'm sorry, that entire series was prison rules. Like, the refereeing was so freaking spotty and garbage. It's like they had, like, a bunch of rookies out there who've never seen the game of hockey before. No, you cannot punch my goalie in the throat and not get a penalty. That is not how this game works. 
Like, hockey's supposed to have some sort of merit and, like, rules to it. Not freaking, like, fighting in the uh, oh. prison. You know, out in the yard. That's what it looked like. At some points, like, I was like, you have the referee literally standing there watching a Boston guy slew foot a Toronto guy, punch him in the face. Like, don't get me wrong. They definitely, towards the, I found the back end of the series, give, like, like, call a, a worse game towards like, the back end of the series. I'd say, I, don't get me wrong, the Leafs, oh! he stopped that? They do know it's Mrazic, right? Um, the Leafs did get away with some calls, too. I, I'm not going to say that the Leafs were perfect, but... I but, don't think the Cadre should have been suspended for three. No, I, I definitely agree with you on that. I think but two I, at max. But I do say that, you know, the Leafs had to ramp up the style of play because that's the way Boston was playing and getting away with it. Yep. The Leafs don't play that kind of game. If you watch them during the season, that's not what they do. They are a skilled team, they are a fast team, and that's how they burn you. So the fact that they had to start coming to a point of playing like Boston, like... I understand you need to adjust the team that you're playing. You gotta, you know, get with the times, whatever. But come on! You got Brad Marchand literally slew footing our goalie, slew footed a couple guys on the ice just randomly, and like, I'm pretty sure he got maybe two penalties the entire series. Well, he's known as the rat for, uh, for some reason, right? You mean besides the fact that he looks like one? Yes, I know, I know. Like, but I, you uh, know what? I will say in watching this series, what it was to me was. That first line of theirs was on, and our first line wasn't. Well, that's what the series was. Austin Matthews, it's it's hard to do what it is that you have to do when you have Zdeno Chara blocking everything. With like, oh god, like they showed one like ice view from the point with the Leafs, and you don't see Rask or the net. You see Chara pretty much like arms and legs wide open, like Creed, <laughs> and like just blocking shots, stick in the lane. Like guy's freaking stick is like ten feet tall. Like, it's not fair, man. And the funniest part is, is he never seems to take tripping penalties. He somehow, even with that stick, is responsible with it. I don't get it. With arms wide open. What the hell's happening? Okay, so apparently you were standing behind the goalie with the puck, and it didn't go in. That is my understanding of that play right there. Yeah, that look, looks about right. Let's say, it kind of looks like the Leafs in the playoffs. Oh, no, no. Get back there, boys. Why is Yager still playing hockey? I don't know, he retired. He, well, did he officially retire? I'm pretty sure. I thought he just didn't play for Calgary and got released because they weren't playing him anymore and he was injured like 19 oh! times. That's the buck, please. Thank you. All right, five on three. So I see we're picking off NHL where we left off. Yeah, the game's been good. We've had our chances. Yeah, but penalties galore. Yeah, uh, this is like game two or game five, period two for us right now. I do remember, you know, in episodes past in the... You know, recent episodes that I do remember that this happened a lot to us. Just penalty after penalty after penalty. Pretty much looking like the Toronto-Boston series. Exactly. Hey, Toronto, try to play defense? You can't do that. Oh, God, good hit. Oh! Who is this? Good job, Helm. <coughs> Excuse Bless me. You. Look at that. I'm sneezing because this ref is full of shit. Nice. Oh, there we go. Pass off to Demko. Makes a play. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had Ekholm, too. Is that Helmer? He's still got some wheels. He's got some wheels. Oh. oh. Connor Brown rushing the net there. Cowan does not know how to play hockey. I Is he like AHL, I think? If that. Oh. oh. But he still has the puck and makes the pass, and Demko's out of position, and they, oh, wow. Yeah, he made a big boo-boo there. That probably should have been 2 nothing in the back of the net. Should have been. Out of boys, I'd say. That's how you play hockey. Good job. He forgot, I thought, so I just reminded him. Uh, apparently, <laughs> Clef Bomb's coming in here to... To play it. Oh, through the crease. Um, so Three on one. Who is the uh, the favorite for you right now to finish off the Stanley Cup playoffs and take it over? So I think currently where we sit is uh, Pittsburgh and Washington are tied 1-1. Um, you got Vegas and San Jose tied 1-1 after a controversial callback on Vegas's overtime winner. Yep. Which I thought, to be honest, is a goal. they got to get this goalie interference thing figured out. Agreed. It's it's just super inconsistent. It's it's destroying games. It's like the uh, the draws that mm. just keep delaying games now. Yeah, and Bergeron who fucking cheats all the time. Yeah, uh, got away with a ton. Yeah. Anyways, on that lighter note, uh, so yeah, Vegas, San Jose are tied. You got um, in the other series, uh, Nashville and Winnipeg. Winnipeg tied one each. 
And then, of course, to finish it off, you got Boston and Tampa, who Boston was up one nothing, and I believe they were playing tonight. Yep, they're playing and tonight. And last I saw, it was 0-0 in the first. I would say I'm liking whoever wins that Nashville series to win it all. So you're thinking it's going Western Conference for sure. Oh, hands down. And it's going to be the Whiteout or Smashville. I believe so. And I really hope it's Winnipeg because I've always been a fan of their team. They're my Western team, as you know, shown by the Chef vs. Jeff series. Uh, yeah, that's 100% true. And obviously ah! my other East team is Pity, who's still in the playoffs who I definitely still think could win their third straight cup. That would be something, too. Like, that would be a story of stories. Dude, they just find a way to win, man. Like, plain That's and simple. That's what good teams do, man. They were getting absolutely dummied by Washington in Game 2, and all of a sudden they go and score, like, three goals in 90 seconds. And the game's done. Like, I don't know how. You got Malkin out of the lineup. I'm pretty well, sure Latang. I mean, Letang, they're really deep down the center. I'm sorry. But latang has been nursing an injury, and Malkin's been their best player. Why did I just... Besides, like, Jake Gensel, I would say, who's been on fire again and has another coming out party, apparently, this playoffs. Uh, Murray, for them, has been pretty steady. Again. Uh, you know, no flurry this year, too, so there's no backup to... No to 1A, support. 1A, 1B situation, right? Like they have in the past. Now, was it with you that I discussed what a series it would be if it was Vegas versus Pittsburgh? Flurry no. versus Martin? No, but that or would be fun. Flurry and Murray. versus Murray. Sorry, not Martin. That would be incredibly interesting to see the full circle come back around. But don't kid yourself, man. The Flower is playing MVP hockey. He's playing hockey right now. He is just another level in playoffs. I, You know what? He's had a couple playoff runs, though, with Pittsburgh where I thought like he's the weak link on the team. And then there's some playoff runs where he's just like God mode. He's lights out. Yeah. Like, and that's like, what he's playing right now for Vegas. He's like 101 overall in a playoff game. Nice. And it's like, well, <laughs> you're better than perfect. And, I mean, the guy's goals against average after the first round was point zero three or something, or like point four. Yeah, yeah like two Nine, shutouts? 994 save percentage through the first four games. Like, absolutely makes no sense. And considering that Vegas wiped the floor with San Jose in the first game 7 nothing, he literally freaking had like a, a under half goal ERA Average. until that second game. Yeah. Which was, again, what, only 3-2 was the final? Uh, Yes. No, 4-3? Maybe 4 3. It was 3 3 2 or 4 3. I can't remember. We were watching it at a uh, friend's house, actually. I didn't get to get the full gist of it, unfortunately, because it did look like a really good game from when it was on in the background. But I, I mean, I think for me, like, exciting. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Tampa Boston series. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Boston is just a garbage team to watch. Like, yeah, their first line's good, whatever, but. Their first line's really good. Yeah. But it's Pasternak and Bergeron that are fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, Marchand's a little pest. He pisses me off when I watch him. Um, Don't look now. We have a power play. I do like uh, the Washington series. Obviously, like that, for me, really has shown what legit playoff hockey is supposed to be. And uh, I said I said Washington or Winnipeg? Sorry. I said Washington. I said Washington. Washington-Pittsburgh okay. series, they're always good head-to-head. -head, and I also meant the Nashville-Winnipeg. Nashville-Winnipeg, to me, are two, like I said, they're the beasts of the West, man. Like, I, I give mad props, man. Mark Shifley... Has been an absolute monster. I remember when he was drafted, and everyone was like, "Who is this kid?" They're oh reaching. yeah, she, they were putting Sheffield Day off on the chopping block. They're like, "Why are they going off the board? They could have taken like six other guys there." Oh, oh yarn crook. That was a hell of a. Oh, is that Lars Eller? Should he be so. going to talk to the therapist? Let's not make fun of that. Why? He's got. Uh... Actually, you know who actually did it too is Dominic Moore. Who's uh, oh! back on the ice for the Leafs? I thought he played really well off the fourth line for us. Yeah, I had a lot of guys I was disappointed with. Um, you know, obviously, it, it, I hate Toronto fans for the sake of like they're trying to put Matthews on a stake. Like apparently there was somebody walking around downtown Toronto putting up signs that say "Lost Austin Matthews, please let Leafs know if found." <laughs> and it's like the kid is 20 years old. He is a franchise piece, like that you've been looking for for God knows how long. And he's made the playoffs both the years he's been in the league. He's scored a combined, like, 70 75, goals. 75 goals, and he missed 20 games this year. It's he's, like, he's held his own. You're going to scare out a franchise piece because you guys are morons. But that's the Toronto market. Exactly. That will always be the Toronto but market. But that's what I hate. It's like, shut up. Let the kids grow. Like, you've seen great growth from Marner now. Oh, he's a two-way player. Originally, he, he wasn't. He's showing the way. And... 
you know, Matthews, he showed you last year he did great. He played well in the Washington series. Yeah. Obviously, it's a game changer in a series against Boston when you got Zanino Char. Well, you also look, wow, it's a five-minute major. Okay. Jeff, we really need to score here. Um, yes. But we do our best when we are just not paying attention, so. Um, but you look at the team that Washington put out versus the team that Boston put out. Boston's a grinder. But it's it's just again it's the the officiating was garbage too like the prison rules the Leafs are not set up to play prison rules Matthew's not going to shank somebody in the yard okay he's a guy who he needs some protection he needs space and time and he could never get that and I mean I know that's Boston's game plan I understand don't get me wrong but at the same time it's like the referees need to freaking get their head out of their ass and that's pay two. attention to the game he just went over the boards uh the bench boards the I don't bench give boards. a shit. Like, there was just so many little misses. Like, one of my favorite missed calls, or, like, botched calls, if you will, Rick Nash takes a shot, breaks his stick, but calls for a slash that never happened. They literally showed the replay. Showed the replay. Nobody touched him. He snapped it on the shot, but because he called the ref, they got a slashing penalty in a power play. Like, that really summed up the series for me. It was like... These referees are, like, out there like Mr. Magoo. Like, whatever. Oh, what? What did Boston say? Oh, okay, yeah. And I love how people are like, oh, well, you're playing the big bad Bruins. So what does that mean? The rules don't apply to them? Again, like, when you see guys punching Matthews in the face, you know, you got Freddie Anderson got punched in the face by... Twice. Right, right in front of the referee from Craigie. Jumping quick. Did you see Garrett Sparks barehanded safe? I did. That was awesome. I did. He's, uh... He might be a legit thing one day. No, he won't be. He'll be a career backup. That's that's good enough for me. That's where I think he peaks, is an NHL backup goalie. And then, like, maybe a spot starter. Like a fridge? Like a Curtis McElhinney. Who's representing Team Canada. Is he? Oh! Uh, did he end up going out to that's Team Canada? Post. Yes. I know Connor McDavid went. Like, Team Canada, I know it's got a lot of younger guys. Uh, the uh, Bavolier kid, I think it's Adam Bavolier from the Islanders. Jordan Eberle's there. Matthew Barzal. What a hell of a season. I really hope he wins the Calder. I, you know what? I think he will. To be honest, like I, Bozier got injured, and I mean the guy put up eighty-five points his first season. I didn't realize. Oh! Excuse me while I unload Morrissey. I was just. I believe he's also the one that cross-checked uh, stall in the face yes. in the first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, just making sure. That was that was bad. There's there's been a lot of cross-checks to the face this. Uh... This playoffs. Guys are ruthless now, man. I'm telling you. It's been prison rules. Here, you want to kill a guy? Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. It's like, you remember uh, Anchorman? Yeah. Man, I killed a guy with a trident. That's kind of what it feels like out there. Like, you're just expecting, like, oh, my God, he just punched that guy in the face. It's like, why is that happening? This is hockey, not UFC. Oh, little moves by Matthew. Get some space. This doesn't happen. It's not real. Morrissey again. Well, five on three. Going to tee one up. Boom. Oh, oh nice tip, Marner. Sexy tip. Yeah, I... I one big surprise for me that I feel like I have to talk about in this because I feel like he's a guy that I drill all the time. Thomas Placanich, when he got moved up to play with Mar Marlowe and uh, Marner, hell of a shutdown player. Was unbelievable. I hate though for the second year in a row, we are losing the guy that we acquired. Yep. You got a second round pick wasted on him, and uh, he's gonna go back to turtleneck it out in uh, Montreal. Montreal. No turtleneck it out. He. That's what I called him the entire series. Like, anytime we watch people, I'm like, oh, here comes Turtleneck. Oh, come on. How did I not get that? Well, we did tie the game. You said we needed a goal. We got a goal. Morrissey got a goal. But we still got the power play here. So if we can squeeze in one more. Oh. oh. And how many times did Pasternak do that to the Leafs defense? It was Like, ridiculous. twice in a game. Probably, like, four times in the series. I got two. Uh, Oof. All right. Mrazic shuts it down. Uh, shocking. I feel like we've definitely dominated the game for the most part. I I agree with you threefold. And it's funny because like we always talk about it. the MMC, just we don't pay attention. We just talk whatever it is that we're doing, uh! and we somehow find a way to win games. That's how we do, unless we get just you know garbage refereeing, which we've seen before, or we just get manhandled, or, or manhandled, bad AI, bad uh, uh, what do you call it? Bad luck, bad uh, animations. That's uh, happened to us a few times in baseball and, and hockey, for sure. Oh, yarn croc. Way to tell oh, way, to way telegraph. so much speed. Oh, no! Jeez. Mirazzi with the heads up, and that's the power play, too. Well, we're back in it. That's hey, what matters right now. Here uh, comes Yamir. 
Here, well, you can't take him off the puck because the guy's calves are the size of, like, watermelons. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Have you seen Yager's calves? I was watching a 24-7 series. And uh, I think it was when it was back on... Florida? Philly. Philly. It's when he was still on Philly. And they were showing, like, oh, you know, Yager's, you know, really been a big help Ooh. to Chloe Giroux. You know, Yager's always the first guy in, last guy out. And they showed him, like, working out and stuff. And no word of a lie, his calves are the size of watermelons. Jesus. It is terrifying, but it kind of makes you have that appreciation for why he's, he's been able to sustain to play for so long and at, like, such a high level. Like, at 40-odd years old, for a guy putting out 50 points, that's ridiculous. I know. The guy can still produce, and that's the thing. Like, when he signed on with Calgary, I was like, okay, I'm happy. The dream can still live on. He might get something. But then it's just the injuries, man. I think he, like, groin injury and... Stuff like that. It just really kept him out of the lineup. But I felt yeah. like that was one of Calgary's big problems this year. Injuries? Way too many injuries. Like, there's a few teams who hit the injury bug hard this year. Really hard. Ottawa was injured for a bunch of time. Can we just talk about and show some love to the Colorado Avalanche? <laughs> the fact that Nate McKinnon... Just single-handedly just carried... The... And how about my boy Ratnan? Ratnan had a year. Ratnan had a hell of a year. But you Not got... You. McKinnon put up over 100 points, man. And this is funny because you got Matthew Shane, who made such a big I deal about... I want to make the playoffs. I want to play playoff hockey. Goes to Ottawa, doesn't make the playoffs. <laughs> McKinnon, leaves, leaves Colorado, they make the playoffs. McKinnon's like, what, you want to play more ice time? Yeah, here, 100 points. And the guy played unbelievable against playoffs. Nashville. Unbelievable. Well, P.K. Subban came out and said he's going to be a perennial oh, MVP. He's, he's going to be a top three, top five point guy every year. I think consistently from here on out. Like, this was the official coming out party. As if there's any question that he was a good player to begin with... This is the, okay, now you know. Hey, if you didn't know, now, now you, you know. know. That pretty much summed that up for me. Cause I, I, oh! mean, I watched some of those games against Nashville. I'm like, this guy is just ripping around the he's ice. he's young, man. Well, he got drafted, what was it, three, four years ago now? Yeah. So, I mean, it just really goes to show you, like, sometimes these guys do take a couple extra years. Look at the extra uh, cylinder that Hall found when he went to the oh, Devils. Oh, yeah, my boy. Like, that guy was just absolutely stupid good with the Devils. Stupid good. And with a team that, like... Well, did you also read that uh, Nico Hischier was playing with, a, like, a busted hand all ga all season? Busted head? Hand. Hand. No, I did not hear that. Yeah. And the guy still put up, like, 30-odd points. No, I think he had close to 50 points. Or if not, like, 50. Oh. 50, 51, I think, or something. Because, I mean, he was uh, involved in a lot of Taylor Hall's stuff. Whatever it is, I did goals, assists. So, I mean... Um, it's, I'm starting to notice a trend. It's funny I was talking about some of the boys with it. Is that a lot of the rookies now, it seems like the staple for rookies in their first season, 50 points. <laughs> they put up 50, successful year. Anything less than that, you're like, uh, don't know. But going on about uh, Leafland before, one new piece of information that we found out today is Lou Lamarillo's not coming back to the Leafs as a general manager. Which means there's got to be... It's Kyle it, Dubas. It's got, it, I was going to say, it's going to be or, promoted from within. Or Mark Hunter. And Shanahan would not officially admit it today. But it, it's so set in stone. Like, if he went out and took... Especially because he's being kept on as an advisor. If anybody else but one of those two guys gets the GM, they're both gone. Like, Hunter and Dubas are going to be, okay, I'm done. Like, if you're not going to keep Lou on, who's been one of the most genius hockey minds, celebrated hockey minds in the last, like, 30, 40 years... And you're not going to give it to the two guys who he's been grooming and have been grooming with the franchise, then who the hell else are you calling up right now? Exactly. So I kind of I thought it was funny that he kind of left it as that whole, like, oh, no, well, I still need time. We were playing meaningful hockey until last week. So, you know, one step at a time kind of a thing. So it's like, okay, Brandon, well, people aren't stupid. We do know what you guys have been housing there for a while. <laughs> and and uh, there has been promises to Dubis and Hunter that they were going to be prepped for a role as a general manager. Now, whether or not it's on the Leafs is another question. Five on three again. We're getting... We have never got... This many power plays. So many power plays ever, I don't think. This is the first. And we did score in the last five on three. Oh, keep that... Ah, oh, come on, Echo. In 14 seconds, we're going overtime. We might get one last rush. Unless we can pull off a miracle run here. All right, it's going to be Kreider. Eight seconds. It's going to be Kreider. It's going to be May. Now, apparently he can't even stick handles. So three seconds. Again. Shoot! Bombs it! Oh! oh. It was Kreider. Hi, Tim. <laughs> That was Kreider. Okay. Well, we should have a 5-on-3 still in the... Yeah. Still, technically, in the overtime. Yeah, it does. 5-on-3, here we go. Is this it's me or you? 5 overtime. Uh, it's, it's me. It's you. Okay. We, uh... I don't think we've had a 5-on-3 in a... Not in overtime. In overtime, ever before. 
Oh, I thought I cuffed him. Thought I cuffed him. Okay, we'll take the face off here. I might push him into the trap. We'll set him up. Win the draw back. Hopefully, move the puck around. See if we can get a nice clean shot. See if we can get Morrissey to go, like, bar down again. And then, hopefully, call it a day. Go back to Toronto. Go back to Toronto. Hopefully, see some better weather oh. than the... Uh, Ice storms. Ice storms that we've been receiving for the past while. Oh, way to keep it, way to keep it. Way to keep it. Austin. Oh! oh. That quick snapshot. What, what in the... God's name was that touch? There you go. Clef bomb keeps her. Boom. Morrissey. Oh. Keep it in, keep it in. Get there, Matthews. Yeah. Taking a look, taking a look. Okay, I passed that sideways, and somehow it went forwards. Well, we get one last draw with a th five on three here. Yeah, so it's got to be quick. It's got to be quick into the net. Quick. And I think we still get it like probably 20 seconds of power play, 30 seconds. Give or take. That, that might be left over on the uh, return. Oh, oh, that was ripped. Yeah, 34 seconds. So if we can keep this in. Come on. No. Oh, he got demolished. I hope that's not built. My dude. Yeah. Yeah. Four and four. Hockey. <laughs> All right. I didn't see the delay. So like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, he lost his head there. So a lot of space right now on the open ice. A lot of ice. speed though. You got Marner and Larkin. Out there right now. These two guys can take off. Can Larkin hit? Wow, that guy really cut off Larkin. I don't believe that at all. Whoa. Oh, way to go short side. Mitchell. Mitchell. Grab that. Oh. oh. I'm just going to hold out. Oh. I'm going to hold out and just wait for it. And just ugh. just wait some out. Just wait. Wait some. Just down and out. Down and out. He was just down and sliding. He knew as he was sliding. He's like, ah, fuck. Yeah, he's like, I I'm not getting to this. I'm not good at this. That's 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 an overtime win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First game back, a little while, pick up a dub, pick up that dubs. Perfect pass. That's a Mitchell play too. Draws like three guys. Yeah. Finds your totally. man. You're welcome. Totally. You're welcome. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. That's also probably why Matthews in his uh, leaving for the season uh, conference said so that he wants to play with Martin more next year. <laughs> that's right. He did say that. I mean, I. <sighs> Some people are saying it was more like an, an implied thing of like somebody asked him like, oh, so who do you feel like, you know, you want to play, maybe play more with Martin next year? And he's like, yeah, of course. Like he has to say it because they're teammates. But to be honest, seeing what that guy had to do, and I don't like that uh, Mrazic got first star, although we did pester him with 36 shots. I was going to say, that's that's quite the impressive stat. I'm not that impressed. I've seen better. Just saying, Mr. Mrazic. So you asked me, and I'm going to ask you because now this is going to wind down the game. Who are you going to take for the final, the Stanley Cup Finals? Ooh. Um, I think you're definitely right about the... No. No, no, no. I can't count out Vegas. I can't count out Vegas. I genuinely believe that the Vegas Golden Knights can make the Stanley Cup Finals. So, I will say Vegas. And I also believe that from the East... I don't think so. I don't think Washington's gonna be Pittsburgh. I think I'm Pittsburgh. surprised that you're taking Vegas right now. There's so many like teams out west. There is, but Vegas' system is just ridiculous. And you have to bank on Flurry. That's where my, my head's at right now. So I'm gonna say Vegas. Like Vegas and either I think you're definitely right. Like it's not gonna be San Jose. No. It's gonna be Vegas coming out of that series or one of the Nashville Winnipeg. Okay. Um and then for the East. Washington's not, I don't think, going to get past Pittsburgh. It's been their Achilles heel. It's going to continue to be. They always find a way to win. So I think it's going to be... And what's the other series? Tampa-Boston. I think Pittsburgh. Again. Pittsburgh will find a way. Jeez. I think whatever team gets past in the Boston-Tampa series will not be able to keep up with Pittsburgh. I am... I, yeah, I think Tampa might have a chance at that series. They won't do it. Every time like Pittsburgh shuts them down, man. Pittsburgh shuts them down. Pittsburgh just has a way to win. I I, I agree with you. It's I, I don't know I don't know what it is that they have, like what that team got set up as that makes them so efficient in what they do. But to me, it's just like pure stupidity and awesomeness, and I feel like they're probably gonna be the team coming out of the East again. Okay. Like they're playing without Geno right now, and they're still playing up with Washington. I know, I know. So, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. You heard Jeff's picks. What are your picks? You heard my picks. What are your picks, guys? Comment, Comment below. below. We want to know. Comment below. So, as we always say, get started off with hit that like button. 
as far as you possibly can. NHL, back in the mix. If you guys want to keep seeing some NHL videos, let's get some likes going. Um, if you guys can drop 20 likes on the NHL videos, Chef Tom and I will continue with this franchise. If not, maybe retire NHL? For this year. Maybe. Until uh, 19 comes out. Which, who knows, might feature Seattle. Yeah. Might feature Quebec. Not very far away. Maybe we make a new team. Maybe. So, you heard it there. If you guys want to see the franchise continue, let's get those likes in there. Uh, but if not, like as many as you possibly can. We do appreciate it. It does help the videos get up there for us. And of course, make sure you hit and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get notifications going. As we've described, and I'm sure many other YouTubers you watch, if you're not ringing the bell, you're not getting notifications. YouTube will not push it out for you 100% unless you have the notifications on. And even then, some people say they're not getting them. So, if you can please get that done for us, we would super, super appreciate the support. And, uh, of course, the fire comments, just keep it going, set it ablaze, and, uh, you know, share with your friends. Have a good time. In the description below, Clutch Chairs, Insane Labs, all the links to our social media pages, promo codes for said partners, because who doesn't want to save money? Love saving money. Everybody does. Yeah. If you don't, you're lying. You're, you're lying to us and to yourself. And, of course, our store, guys. Going to put a little link up there. Go check it out. Redbubble, MMC merchandise. Go pick it up. Get some. There's always, always savings there. If you sign up with the Redbubble website, they will send you emails to get anywhere from, like, I've seen anywhere from 10 to, like, 25, 30% off on any of the merchandise they have. And as we've described in other videos that we've posted, they have tons of awesome stuff. And you can mix mash it, customize it with the different MMC logos. It's a great store, guys. If you do do it, like we always say, send it to us. We want to post it and show some love to you on our social media, which you hope you're following us on in the links below. And that's all for me again. I, I just... You do the ramble of the... The, uh... Push the show. Hey, check us out. Check this is what it we got. out. This is what we do for you. Because now, we're clutched like that. It just leaves me to finish it off with... We'll see you on the next one. Just simple today. See you on the next one. No, keep it anything? See you on the next one. Okay.